This is Ethan Norby, class of 2023, committed to ECU. Uh, I'm a pitcher outfielder, played for Easter Scythe High School, and also the Dirtbags this summer. This is a day in my life. The age, of, I think I was, I got into baseball when, um, geez, from the moment I was born. My, my dad uh, grew up playing baseball, wasn't at a high level, but he loved the game a lot. My brother played, um, he, he, was, he was playing at the time, and so I think it was just always around me. So um, that's kind of just why I got into it. The biggest influence on my baseball career has definitely been my older brother. Um, watching him go to um, high school baseball, then go play at college at UCU, then, then go and get drafted. Um, has just been unbelievable to watch that. Having somebody like that in your life, um, he's definitely been the biggest influence watching him, like knowing that he, he has achieved his dreams. Not yet, but he's gotten very close to achieving his dreams. Hey. And um, I, I want to do what he does every day, uh, playing baseball. You know, I love the game. It's, I just want to do it the rest of my life. What made me pick ECU over every other school was the fans. I think we, the jungle is just one of the most unbelievable atmospheres in all of college sports, I think. Um, the Super Regionals against Texas this year, you could really tell that it made a difference with, with the playing. Um, they're, they're, everyone out there just loves ECU players. They're all about the fans and, it, I mean, all about the players and I, I don't think ECU would be the program that is without the fans, and I think Greenville is just the the perfect place for ECU baseball. The recruiting process for me just kind of started late. I didn't get much attention until this spring. Um, it was uh, in Atlanta or in Georgia. I mean, at Alabama, I got a lot of attention. Popped 88 there. Um, really got some looks there. And then it wasn't until at USA Baseball this summer with my first term with the Dirtbags. Uh, uh, the pitching coach, Aston Knight, was um, was there to watch me pitch, and I had eight Ks in three innings, and uh, I got the call after the game, and it was just one of those moments. My dad saw me. I looked up at him just like with the biggest smile on my face, like knowing that I can do it, and um, ECU has just kind of been in the back of my mind, like going to the same place as my brother would be awesome. And that, that moment of getting that first call from them was surreal. And then after that, I, I got um, then Coach Palumbo, their assistant coach, came to watch me pitch in, in uh, Florida against the Canes. And I had a, you know, probably one of the best game of my life. And after that, that night, he called me and said, man, I want to get you, get, get you down to East, or, uh, Greenville and get you on a visit, um, get, get an offer to you. And I, I think that was like, the ultimate game changer for me. Um, I think that's when I kind of just like really knew like that's where I want to go. And then when I got my visit, you know, I did, I met Coach Godwin. I, I knew him a little bit from my brother's playing days there, but um, just to really get to talk to him and knowing my, what he, like they want me for me. Um, I think it was a little bit weird with having a older sibling go there um, and having great success there. It's it's hard, but I think I think they they love the the family aspect of things, um, and I think it's going to be a great home for our family again for the next four years. And um, I I love the the place. It's the atmosphere is awesome. The coaches, the players. I know a bunch of my boys 
Bristol Carter, Jackson DiLorenzo, my boys. Um, yeah, it's... I did make all conference for didn't you? That's what I did to Harrison Lewis. The pressure, um, I don't think there's, I haven't been committed in high school yet. This is the summer, I got committed this summer, so I don't really know about high school games, but I know that people do come for you a little bit. They, they don't think that you're as good as you are. Um, and you just kind of got to brush it off. There's always going to be haters. Um, people aren't going to respect you for what you, who you are. And you just got to know, like, I'm, I'm committed to where I'm committed to because I'm that good at baseball. Like, you just kind of got to brush it off, let it go. They're just salty, you know? They, they, they just ain't good, you know, type of thing. So just brush it off. Greatest strength, um, shoot, the dog. I, I feel like um, over these past two years where I've really grinded to get to where I am, I, I think I feel like that dog has really just come out of me. And when I'm in a game, man, I'm just in a different zone. It's, it's. I've, I've tried to recreate that in bullpens and stuff, but there's a different level I get to, and um, I feel like that's my biggest strength. Just getting into a different place, a different mindset, knowing that I can perform. And I, I, I do do what I do because I'm great at what I do. So, um, And the biggest weakness or what I can improve on the most, um, shoot, my hitting. I'm a high school player. I'm a PL. We'll go into college play, do be a pitcher. And I am not very good at hitting. As simple as that. I did make all conference last year for some reason. I don't know. Um, hit 300 or something like that in conference. But... I want to be like 350, like overall, not just in conference. So we're gonna try to grind this this fall and really get the get the swing right for the season. I think my favorite baseball memory so far has been watching my brother get drafted. Um, it was kind of just like the biggest like experience of my life, just watching him do what he does, be great at what he does. Um, he's kind of just been that older brother that pushes me to be better. And so watching him achieve his dreams, that's, it's, just being a younger brother, just watching that is unbelievable. And I, I love him. And, um, I think that's been my greatest baseball memory.
what advice I have for um, uncommitted players, I think perform in the biggest spotlight. Um, when when the lights are on and you're on the mound and you know people are watching, you gotta perform. Uh, you gotta get somewhere different. You gotta go somewhere different. You gotta get right with your head, and you just gotta perform. That's kind of what um, the biggest thing. Also. I think the grind, I don't think people know what the grind actually is until they do it. Um, they talk about the grind, they, they don't know what actually the grind is. Uh, uncommitted players, they're, if, if they don't want to grind, then they're not going to go anywhere. That's as simple as that. Uh, the grind is the biggest thing that any like Division One athlete or Division Two athlete even, D3, all, all commitments, like you have to grind, you have to be good at it. Um, and without the grind, I don't think anybody would be where they are. A little breakdown of our day. We started out in the cages doing T work, um, then went to front toss. Then after that, worked to the field for BP. After that, did some defensive work on the from right field to, to second, third, and home. After that, got some mound work, and that's the day of my life.